Day of the event was September 3rd, 2017, um, a Sunday. Uh, we were out cleaning the gutters in the front porch. I noticed that Donna was doing a lot of reaching up to the gutters. So I, I said, hold on, let me go in the house and get my rag. Let me, let me finish up here. I no sooner walked in the house, I heard the scream and, and the sound of wood falling. I, I knew exactly what happened. I ran out and um, saw her and called 911. I remember Donna pretty vividly. I was able to evaluate her. She was not normal. She suffered a major head injury. She was very critical. We got a heads up from EMS that she fell from a two-story balcony straight on her head on the concrete. She had fallen about 12 feet. Her main injuries were her, her brain and her skull and the left side of her chest. Because of that, EMS decided she needed to go to the trauma center rather than to the local hospital because they were concerned that she may have a brain injury. Trauma cases like Donna, where there's a head injury involved, Time is of the essence, so we're moving as fast as we can from the minute she hits the door to get her where she needs to go. If it's a trauma alert, it's pretty serious and they need to be evaluated very quickly. We normally have our team activated at that time. So we have x-ray, CT, ORs down there, the trauma docs. We have multiple nurses and a paramedic on hand as well. And we go over and do a head CT because she had some drains from her ear, so we knew pretty sure that she had a significant head injury, so we just had to figure out why and make sure was whether it was a bleed or a concussion or see what was going on. The CT scans showed her injuries, which consisted of a hemorrhage on the right side of the brain, a skull fracture on the left side of the brain, multiple left rib fractures and a small collapse of the lung and a left clavicle fracture. Somebody's coming in at the most traumatic point in their life, so you have to be at the top of your game all the time. When someone's assessed the trauma one, I mean, these, these centers are equipped to, to know what to do. About 10 or 12 days after her injury, she was transferred to rehab. And in re rehabilitation, um, she recovered incredibly. She got a call and was invited to give a brief story of her story at a annual trauma conference at, at Baina Point. It's really rewarding when patients come back and visit with us to see that what we did made a difference. The most rewarding part about being a trauma nurse is the fact that you get to save lives. Every single day, people are coming in with the most traumatic injuries you can imagine, and we get to be a part of a team that makes the difference. Seeing patients like Donna come in and go through the process they go through and being able to go home and live a normal life again uh, really makes me love my job. Having Donna as a living example of the fruit of your labor is, in my opinion, the best thing that any physician can ask for. She has such a will, and uh, I think that came through. You see her today, you know, you talk to her today, you, you would never know what happened to her. It's wonderful to have her home, and, and thanks to the good Lord, she's able to do everything. My quality of life is very, very good. You do have to have the right treatment at the right time. Because it was such a traumatic experience, you need to go someplace that specializes in traumatic brain injury to have the best outcome. I'm happy to be celebrating life.